Cancer! This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if it's your first time here. Uh, this video is going to be a monthly terrascope for November for Cancer. And I'm going to shuffle a little bit, but I'm going to talk a little bit also about what's going on in the sky in November. It's going to be a little bit softer of a month than October was. October was um, a bit... it was direct. Um, but it could feel a little harsh to some people. We had that new moon in Libra, which was really bringing stuff up about the truth. And, and Jupiter entered Scorpio, which is also bringing stuff up from the deep, from the depths, and from the shadows up for evaluation. And Libra is about decision-making, so there were some tough decisions potentially in October for people, but November is feeling a lot softer. Um, we have a full moon in Taurus on November 4th, and that's happening for you in your 11th house, which is all about networks and audiences, the outer world, humanity. So there's really a spotlight being shown in your 11th house, Cancer. And that has to do with, you know, who your community is, who your networks are. Um, some of you may be just enjoying full friendships that you developed over the past six months. You know, if you look back to the new moon in Taurus that happened in last May, um, this full moon is the accumulation of that. So for some of you, it may be just a spotlight on your friendships, on your audiences, on your networks, you know, coming to a great place of fruition. I'm even getting 10 of coins jumping out, which means, you know, the, the most, it's a physical earth card and Taurus is a physical earth sign. So it really means like having put in practical steps. And now this is reaping the bounty. So I'm really getting that for a lot of you. Um, and for some of you, it can be a completion time in that area as well. So some of you may, if you have been pursuing like a course of uh, studying research or information or data, those are all Aquarian themes like science and um, genius, all of that, you, be, you could be coming to a completion on that for like an area of research that you've been doing for the past six months. Or it's, it's just a time of completion, fruition, and spotlight. Full moons are when things come to completion and get ready to be released. So uh, you may even be releasing it to a large group or a large audience, large network. Um, that's all featured for you right now during this full moon in Taurus. And then we also have a new moon in Scorpio happening November 18th. And this is in your fifth house of creativity, of true love, of romance. And you have the sun the moon, which is the emotional planet, and Jupiter there in your fifth house. So true love, Cancer. I mean, it's really, Jupiter is all about expansiveness, and it brings with it good luck. Um, so that's going to be in your fifth house all year through next November 2018. So set intentions around this new moon in Scorpio. Also, Scorpio is a water sign just like you. Um, set intentions about deep-seated emotions in your true love sector. Um, this could be the real things for you, Cancer. For, you know, late November, you could have a true love showing up. And it's a new moon, so it's new beginnings. For those of you who are already in relationships, you may begin a new cycle that really has to do with deep feelings coming up from, from you know, the depths up to the surface for your enjoyment. Um, and some of you may be having a new true love coming in or a new romance. It's, it's wonderful. Some of you also may be having kids. Um, fifth house also rules children. So whatever that is, you're going to have a deep bond with whoever shows up during that time. Or if you're already with someone, you know, a new, a new level of emotional depth or intimacy could be beginning around that time. Um, so let's see what's coming up for Cancer for November 2017. I think it's going to be a really enjoyable month for you, Cancer. Um, we've got three of coins. So at the beginning of November, it's group 
projects are featured, creativity, really great time to get to work on completing something, working on something, especially as it relates to working with others. Three of Coins, often I call that card, you know, creative finance or multiple streams of income. I see that if you're working on something, especially if it involves three people or more, that you could reap some nice financial rewards from any creative projects that you're working on or building towards. This is, uh, Three of Coins is about building a castle, building, sorry about that, um, building, you know, a structure that really ha serves many people. It pr provides work for the architect, for the worker, for the people who are going to be using the building. So it's really like beneficial time put in at the beginning of November creates financial abundance for everyone. And it's also a really great time for creativity. So for those of you who are involved in anything to do with music or art or um, anything communication that's creative, say poetry or anything that has to do with putting putting information out there, putting things together, creating things, working on things together. Great opening for November for you, and that's kind of sets the tone for the whole month. I'm actually seeing too, Cancer, that things that are untraditional or unconventional can really be featured. Doing things in a different way than you've done them before. If you've gotten results and gotten established with something, because he's also in a, in a church or a castle, and he represents, Hierophant represents tradition, conventionality, rules, standards, social mores, structures. When he's in reverse, it's saying, you know, go for the unconventional. Do things differently than you've done in the past. It could be really fruitful and really um, beneficial, especially in the financial sector. You might be surprised at the creative result you're able to come up with if you do things in an unconventional manner. Break the rules a little bit, you know. It's, it's a good time for that. Um... I also see that there may be a slowing down uh, right around this full moon in Taurus. Knight of Swords usually has to do with someone rushing forward. Often it can be an air sign, so it could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you're either not seeing eye to eye with or they're pushing too far forward with their ideas and you just want to slow them down. Or this could just be your thinking slowing down your thinking and saying, you know, maybe we don't have to rush forward with everything. Maybe we can try something different, try something new, even though this is what looks like is logical, um, analytical, what we're supposed to do, how it's supposed to go. I kind of see that rushing and doing things in a traditional, conventional manner is not necessarily what serves you. And you might, it might feel I think Gemini got this too. It might feel unsteady. You might feel not confident or not courageous about doing things in a different way, but you do have the strength card showing up. And she does things in a soft, um, gentle way as well. I'm even going to use the word slow here. And particularly also with matters of the heart. But Leo is the great performer. And the great person who, you know, shows up on stage and is creative, has that wonderful, vibrant, passionate heart, is saying, you know, maybe just slow it down a little bit. I, with these two cards together, I'm really just saying, I'm seeing go slow. So whatever that means to you, if, if you feel shaky or unconfident or fearful or like you, can't, you don't have the strength, just push through cause, because strength is here for you. So that's showing up. Um, I'm getting... Knight of Cups in reverse, um, and Four of Coins in reverse. Some of you may be hesitant to share your heart because of fears of money or related to money. There may be someone who you think you're turning away from because of their lack of finances or you're feeling like you can't fully dive into your heart because you know you don't have the finances to support it, something like that. Usually Four of Coins is scarcity thinking or fear, like holding on to every last cent. And it might be complicating your um, ability to either give or receive a love message, potentially with a water sign, Pisces, um, Cancer, or Scorpio. But because it's potentially Cancer, I'm saying this is you. Turning your back on 
something related to money, feeling like you have to hold on to all of it. You know, some of you may have a budget that your your heart is actually taking you away from it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I see, too, Ten of Swords is an old way of thinking. Uh, beliefs that don't serve you anymore. And I, that's completing, that's Ten of Swords. So they're, you're letting go of an old way of thinking. And you might be opening up to new truths. This is really like a soul-searching card, Hermit. Potentially also a Virgo might be able to help you with letting go of an old way of thinking that kept you stuck and drained. They're going to have some real insights. So if you have a Virgo in your situation, they can help you get through this cancer. So they're going to be very helpful to you in that way. He's, he's holding up a light to illuminate something. And I really get the sense it's, it's letting go of an old way of thinking. So that... That's going to be helpful to you mid-month. I see Queen of Coins here, sometimes an Earth sign. Um, the Wheel, that's time changing things in a very positive way. Um, and you know, too, with this, with Queen of Coins, she's really good at managing money. She sometimes shows up as an Earth sign, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting Virgo energy because of Hermit and her, and I really get the sense that she's going to help you turn this around. If there's any scarcity in terms of finances or money due to old ways of thinking, like uh, thinking of scarcity thinking or lack focused stuff, she's like, no, look, we can turn this around. We can just, you know, we can make things go forward. She might, you know, if you have any Virgo friends who are good with money, they can really help you with that this month, Cancer. Um, I do see that you may need to take a time out towards the end of the month, but you may feel like you just don't have time to, or you don't know how, or you've got too many demands upon you. But I'm going to say that towards the end of the month, if you can, just take a time out, go on a retreat, find somewhere where you can just be quiet and, and restful. That's going to help you. may also help turn your luck around. Um, this is positive, though. This is like when things click together, and I kind of get the sense that she's going to give you something where you say, I haven't, I didn't see it that way before, or I didn't know I could turn this into this. I didn't know that I could go from four coins to having all the money I want. So she's really going to help you turn things around. If you have a Virgo friend um, or counselor or family member or anyone, she's really on your side. She's really helpful in getting things going. And then at the end, you're leaving something behind. Some of you may be moving um, to a new place. You may be moving into, you, I'm so, for some of you, I'm getting you're moving to a new country, um, moving to a new land, being ready for the new cycle. I'm really getting this as related to this Ten of Swords, like your beliefs. Maybe you had certain beliefs that limited you before, and, and now you're seeing, no, there's more out there for me. I can do this. I can move on from this dead weight, from being drained or exhausted or, you know, whatever that thinking caused for you. And, you're, you know, you're seeing that maybe your heart is ready for a new life, new journeys, new emotional sustenance. So that's kind of fun, Cancer, towards the end of the month. I can't remember if this was in reverse or upright. Um, but regardless, this is moving on. Uh, the reverse will just have to do with your resistance or fear. Um, but it shows that you're ready for it. So I really see that, Cancer, for November, creative projects, especially if they're unconventional or untraditional, going in a slow way and working with others, that's really going to be beneficial for you. Um, seeing if any worries or sense of lack regarding your financial situation is impacting your love life or your ability to express or receive love, some Virgo is going to be really helpful to you. And they're going to help you turn that around. That's what Wheel says and go forward. You may have to take some time to think things over. This is all swords energy. It's all having to do with thought. Slowing down, letting go of old ways of thinking, and maybe just taking time to process things, you know, taking time to um, simmer and let all of that really sink in is really going to enable you to free yourself to your next chapter. So lots of fun stuff here in November for you, Cancer. I'm also going to 
pull a love card. A lot of you Cancers are pretty creative as it is. You guys are very artistic. So I'm going to say focus on your art this month, especially if it has to do with any kind of collaboration. And if you haven't collaborated before in artistic or creative ways, this might be a good time to branch out and do something different. It's going to be really fun for you and potentially profitable. You know, you might get it by the end of the month, the returns on this. So let's see what's coming up for Cancer for Love. Let your friends help you. You know, a little help from my friends. It says ask and ask for and accept support from others. So this really echoes that collaborative effort groups. You know, you've got that full moon in your 11th house. That's all about humanity, your audiences. You really, I even see some of you are going to be having investors in your art. Or, you know, maybe your friends show up at, at an art gallery where your art is and they're, they're your best benefactors, potentially. So let your friends help you this month. It's really, really a great time for creativity and friendship and networking. It's all full moon, illumination, spotlight on all of that. It could also be what turns this around, Cancer. So let's see what else is going on. I've got both of these decks that I'm pulling from are Doreen Virtue. Uh, one is the Romance Angels card. That's what I just pulled. And then this one is the Angel Oracle. Okay, this one wants to come out. We get Nurture, which is very Cancerian. You are the nurturers of the Zodiac. This is such a beautiful card. I'm going to get Nurture Yourself and Nurture Your Creativity. On the card it says, Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. I'm seeing some of you who, who have kids. Really great time to focus on nurturing your kids, maybe even working on creative projects with your kids. I'm even just seeing making some art with your kids. And also for some of you, this is nurturing your inner child. So what makes you sing? What makes you happy? What, what is a form of creativity that you can nurture yourself with this month, Cancer? It's really going to be a great focus for you. Nurturing someone else. It also says as you nurture someone else, you nurture yourself. So in this case, it's saying nurturing a child, but I'm really just getting any kind of nurturing that you do for others really nurtures your inner child. And creativity is such a focus for you this month that, you know, between friends and love and yourself, there's beautiful things being created here in November. And it's, it's enabling you to grow stronger, go forward and potentially go to a new place, you know, of the heart. So really enjoy that, Cancer, especially during this new moon in your fifth house for love and romance. There's some nice loving energy coming in. It's really beautiful. I really am happy for you. So enjoy that reading, Cancer. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Cancer who you think might enjoy it. Um, enjoy the love that's coming at you this month. And if you'd ever like to book a personal reading with me, I'll have information below. You can email me. And um, as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching Yours in the Stars.